I here we go with a new math center related with money okay this is the second third time that you are going to work on money so the materials you are going to need are a jar or something with so many coins mixing mix it up your work today is to work on recognition and value so don't just have three or four coins, have a tons in your jar and spend a while looking at them, okay, and saying, what is this one? Okay, and then I'm gonna give you in canvas these papers to play. You can just draw a piggy bank in your, in your, in a piece of paper and you will need this little, I don't know the name in English, this little circle on, on one side of the paper, okay? Here you have the names of the four smallest coins and a hammer that I will explain you what, like where, what are you using it for. So this will be for me and this will be for my partner. If you are playing in your own, which is totally fine, yes, use one paper, okay? So I'm gonna use a clip and a pencil. This is going to be my spinner, it's a spinner, okay? So the game is, I roll the spinner one time. Let's see. And it says, nickel. Nickel. So I'm going to go to my jar and grab a nickel. If you remember last uh, math center, last math center of the last week, sorry, a nickel is a five cent dollar coin. So I'm gonna start looking at the coins. And here I have found some. That's it. Oops, sorry. Five cents, five cents. So I put it on my piggy bank and now it's my partner's turn. You can also do like that. You close your eyes and it says quarter, the same. I go to my jar and look for a quarter. If you remember, or if you look at the different coins, you're gonna find one coin that has quarter, the name of the quarter, on the back. So I put it over here. Okay, and you will need to fill out a recording sheet. In your recording sheet, it will say, spin one. This is me, player one and player two. So player one, how much money do I have? Five cents. Player two, how much money do she or he has? Have 25 cents because it's the value of the quarter coin. And then we continue with a spin two and a spin three. Let's see who wins at the end. The one that has more money at the end of the game wins. Again. Penny. I need to grab a penny. Penny is easier because it has a different color and it's just one cent. So over here. And my partner. Oh, the hammer. Well, the hammer means that I'm going to break my band and have zero. So, <laughs> spin two. How much money do I have? Six cents, because five plus one is six cents. And winner two, oh, oh, zero cents. And the last one, nickel, another nickel. You remember the first time I also got a nickel. 
I'm equal if it's a five dollar coin. So I will put it over here. And my partner, dime. A dime. I need to look for a dime. And I found this little coin that says one dime. And I put it over there. So final recount. Five plus five plus one makes 11 cents. And here I have a dime that is 10 cents. So 11 cents is greater than 10 cents. So the winner is player number one. That's me. <laughs> so I won. Let's do a different example. I think you can get it pretty fast. This video is not going to last a lot. You can play. This is pretty flexible. Imagine that you have you play two times and you are feeling comfortable and you want to make it a little harder. What you can do is instead of just the spin, the spinner, one, two, one, six times, you can spin the spinner five times. So you are going to have more money to count and many chances to look for different count coins. Process. Dime. One dime. I have my eyes closed. Another dime. Quarter. Quarter is the biggest here. The biggest value. So a quarter over here. And here. Penny. Uh oh. A penny. Ah, sorry. I forgot to write my um my spins. First time ten cents. Ten cents. I'm gonna use this symbol this time. Ten cents. And the second time I need to start, to start adding twenty five plus ten. Thirty five cents. Um, player 2, 10 plus 1 is 11 cents. And this time I'm gonna use this. Nickel. Nickel is this one, it's a $5 coin. So 5 plus 35 makes 40 cents. And here, oh no! <laughs> I got the hammer, so I'm starting over. Ah, but I'm this one. Penny, the brown one. 40 plus one is 41 cents. And let's see over here. Nickel. Nickel is this one. Here and five cents because I was, I had zero. And the last one, hopefully I'm going to put the hammer. <laughs> quarter, another quarter. And I can recount the money. 41 plus 25. 41 plus 25. If you can do it mentally, great. If not, you can try to do this. Instead, parents, if you are watching the video, we try to do addition and subtractions horizontally because it helps the kids to work on place value in a different way and deeply understand better. We do like that. Once together, one plus five makes six. And then tens together. This is 40, and this is 20, that makes 60. And then, one sentence together, 66. 
So my final quantity is 66 cents. And let's see my partner. Another quarter. Five plus 25 makes 30 cents. You can you do it that way too. Imagine that you don't know. To do the addition, you need to do five plus 25. Look how place value works in here. Once together, five plus five makes 10. And then tens on this side. I have zero and 20, that makes 20. And then ones and tens together, tens and ones, well, whatever, 30. Much easier than carry on in the other way. That's all, guys, have fun. And on day one, you can just roll the spinner three times. On day two, probably you should do it five times to make it a little harder. Okay, so Tuesday, three times. You can try also with a five time at the end. And second day, start with three and then the next time you try, you switch to five times. Okay, bye bye.